explain that during aerobic cell respiration, pyruvate can be broken down in the mitochondrion into carbon dioxide and water with a large yield of ATP. In contrast to anaerobic respiration, aerobic respiration does use oxygen, and this time it takes place in both the cytoplasm and the matrix of the mitochondrion. Similarly to anaerobic respiration, aerobic respiration begins with glycolysis, where the glucose is broken down into pyruvate and gives you a net of 2 ATP. This happens in the cytoplasm. The pyruvate is then broken down into carbon dioxide and water. This stage produces 34 ATP and takes place in the matrix of the mitochondrion. So in total you achieve 36 ATP from aerobic respiration. In this demonstration we see a student whose cells are respiring exhaling the carbon dioxide produced from the aerobic respiration. The carbon dioxide is being passed through lime water which detects its presence by turning from clear to cloudy. To summarize aerobic respiration, glucose is combined with oxygen and this produces carbon dioxide, water and ATP. You generate a total of 36 ATP and this includes the two produced in glycolysis.